Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is an Ulta haul. It's an unboxing and it's filled with things that I would never buy for myself. But why did I get them? I got them because I had my Ulta rewards points and I thought it was February. I wanted to treat myself for Valentine's Day and so I decided to go and buy some things. But like I said, I wanted to use my reward points. Now, if you know anything about Ulta Rewards Points, they are awesome because you can go ahead and use them like cash. Unlike Sephora's program where it's tiers and then you can redeem for like special deluxe samples, Ulta Reward Points you can go ahead and actually use in place of cash. I have been saving my Rewards Points for a really long time and they've been burning a hole in my pocket. I'm just like, I'm not going to use them not gonna use them not gonna use them and then I decided you know what I'm gonna buy some bougie things that I would never buy for myself with cash with my rewards points so I placed my order online on their website on Tuesday the 12th the reason why is because you could only use them on products you guys Wednesday morning, I look at my inbox on my email and Alta had a change of policy effective February 13th where you can now use your rewards points on services at their salon. Just to give you an idea, I had $178 worth of rewards points. That's a lot of money that I had spent over the years to save up to $178. I could have gotten my hair cut. I could have gotten highlights. I could have done something. I have product now. So, I mean, yeah, I'll join the product, but honestly, I would have rather used my points and gotten a service. So I sent like a passive aggressive, like funny tweet to Ulta being like, ha ha ha. But they never responded, and honestly, at that point, my stuff had already shipped and mag like magically, like. So I mean, what I'm already two minutes and forty five seconds into this, and I haven't even gotten to the unboxing. So. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, let's do this. So. One thing I gotta say is I'm a little bit disappointed that I noticed recently Ulta stopped even offering samples. They don't even pretend like they're gonna send them anymore. They just straight up don't offer samples. Have you noticed that? Wow. On to the unboxing. Um, the first thing that I bought that I would never purchase for myself is this Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eye shadow and this one is in dollish now i played around with this at a store and i liked this a lot but i was like i'll never buy it for myself so then i was like girl you got some points you're gonna spend them and buy stuff that you don't ever expect to ever buy once again cardboard um oh my god Seriously. All right, so here is Dollish. And it is a pink glitter, I believe, with a um, gold shimmer. Oh my God. A little ASMR for you. Okay. So if I'm going to swatch this on my hand, if you can see that, it's a very delicate pink with gold shimmer. No smell. Uh, if you watched my, um, ooh, if, is this gonna break? Oh. <laughs> All right, so the, I don't mean this in like a dirty way, you guys. The hole for this is really tight and it's hard to put the applicator into the hole. It's a very tight fit, so I don't mean that in a dirty way. I mean that legitimately, it's a tight fit. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really pretty. 
And I believe that was $24, which is why I would have never bought it for myself. Um, the next thing I purchased for myself that's completely bougie and I would never pay cash for it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Champagne Pop. So this is a highlighter that I feel like every single time I watch videos, people are like, oh, champagne pop, oh, champagne pop. And it looks like this. And I went to the store and I recently swatched it. And I was like, oh, that's why everybody loves champagne pop. Ooh, okay, so it's a little bit messy. But if you can see, it's like, there's some stuff there. Make me feel like a real YouTuber. But basically, it's this beautiful gold highlighter. Although there's some product, like, I don't want to like tip it over because I'm afraid. But it is this beautiful gold highlighter. And I feel like I'm really tall today. Um, some of it's on my hands, but I'm not really doing a great job. But I would never buy this for myself. And I think, no joke, I think this was like $38. Why? <laughs> Why? But I bought it because I could with my rewards points. The next thing I purchased was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Soft Matte Hydra Makeup. And this is a foundation and I purchased it in 2W1 Dawn. And I swatched 3W1 Tawny in the store and I liked it. This one, which is a shade lighter, um, it was an online only. Oh, and there's a safety seal, so I'm excited for that. But um, I don't need foundation. I don't because I have a lot. But if I'm gonna get this delightful foundation that's $42, I'm gonna pay for it with rewards points. So that's that. Um, and then the last thing I bought was something that was um, kind of new in my uh, whatever radar and I saw a review on it from somebody that I trust and I was like I want that what she has I want it and so um, it was $58 but I paid reward points for it, so I didn't actually pay anything for it. And that is the Lime Crime Venus XL or Extra Large 2. And it's this beautiful eyeshadow palette with Venus. Um, and I guess there's an original one that has different coloring, but this is like XL2. And this one, oh, I'm like, how the heck do I do this? It's so big. Um, it is this beautiful eyeshadow palette with all of these great shades that are perfect for maybe like a springtime, going from winter to spring. And it has this really beautiful, like, pale pistachio green cut obscure. And just, they all just seem so beautiful. And they're a mixture of um, shimmers and mattes. And this is cruelty free and vegan. I've never had anything by Crime Line. Lime Crime? Crime? Lime Crime. Have I been saying Crime Line this whole entire time? Lime Crime. So I decided to treat myself. So I had $178 in rewards points, and this all came up to $162 even. Now, for whatever reason, the website would not let me use my $178 in total. It would only let me use the next tier down of $161. So I used $161 worth of my rewards points. I paid a dollar, and then because there was a dollar left, um, I had to pay Pennsylvania 6% sales tax. So I got all of these items for a dollar six. So I'm not mad. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really, you know, I would never buy these items for myself. They're totally bougie, but that's what rewards points are for. That's like, you know, reward yourself, treat yourself. Um, I just wish why 
I finally broke down and bought this stuff because I wanted to. And then the next day, less than 12 hours later, they changed their policy. Whatever. So anyway, that is my unboxing of my very bougie rewards points haul from Ulta. If you liked this video or found any of the information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.